Luke. What the hell is this? This is Mario and Minions ki Kingdom Battle. God, like, you already messed up. Okay. Good job. This is the new... Good start, Owen. Good work. This is the new Ubisoft game. It's, uh, it's Michelle Ancel's baby. It's not Michelle Ancel's baby. She just helped create the rabbits. He made which... the Minions, though, didn't he? So this is this may be his fault in a sense. Michelle Ancel absolutely created the minions, so that's great. Big talk, Steve Carell. You owe him a paycheck. Uh, for <laughs> yep. Anyway, we're gonna press A to start. Um, this game's actually, d despite all of the like initial imp initial like you you tell me Owen, there's gonna be a Mario and Rabbids game. I'm like, okay, whatever. This is the same attitude that I take for. Mario and Sonic at the Olympics and then it turns out that this game's actually really good yeah I remember when we were watching E3 and it was like oh Mario and Rabbids who cares it just seems like some cynical marketing thing and then we we're watching the footage and we're like man this looks like XCOM yeah and it also actually looks good I would play this I have some excellent news it's just XCOM with a few extra little bits that is like, it as difficult as I found XCOM 2 to the point where I didn't finish it it's not as difficult but it's actually still pretty challenging um so let's give this up for the world you are this little fucking Roomba um and the idea behind it is that you guide Mario and the Rabbids uh, around the place the Roomba came uh she he was the and they all do the anime run yeah pretty much they all do the new route run that you do yourself uh, in real life yeah all the time you heard it here first um so the Rabbids do it as well yeah I know right uh right. so the entire shtick is that you are this like little Roomba dude here, and the idea behind it is that there's a, a real human, a real person, uh, in the in the whether it's the Ubi world or whatever it is, it's not the Rayman universe anyway, uh, who created this headset that is supposed to be able to duplicate things, and or not duplicate things, but fuse things together, and so. The rabbits eventually come across this headset and they steal it. And one of them shoots a Mario poster. And I can't. Oh, and the rabbits. And then they basically get sucked into the washing machine here. This is where the rabbits travel through time. Ah, yes, the time washing machine. Exactly. That. That, ju that just dawned on me. Okay, okay. Well, that's, I guess. <laughs> we keep going with that. Um, and so that's pretty much the setup. You land in this world, uh, the rabbits are pretty much going wild, you know? Rabbids go, yeah. what was the, is it Rabbids go wild was the video game? I can't remember where. I can't remember. Rabbids go meadow, is that, is that the British title for the game? Yeah, um, obviously. So, right. Rabbids go cheeky nandos. Yes. <laughs> rabbids go pip pop cheerio. <laughs> right. I'd also just like to say, I'm liking this music. I know it's like an old theme, but it's still... Feels oh, very nice. oh, Luke, the music in this game is amazing. It's a Grant Kirkhope joint. Yeah, I was going to say, I read somewhere it was Grant Kirkhope. I was like, that's weird, but also I'm totally on board for that. Yeah, he is the composer for Banjo-Kazooie uh, and the more recent, obviously more famous uh, ukulele, if you played that by Playtonic. And, I haven't um, played either. I just know the name. Yeah, the music's awesome. Uh, I had a boss fight earlier that I was like, I need to actually look this up on YouTube. Because this was really, really fun to listen to, and that's usually a good sign. But uh, let's yeah. watch this here now. I can't tell how I feel about that rabbit dressed as Peach. It it actually makes really good on on its sense of humor. That's another thing. Where did they get that clothing from? I don't know. It's just it's part of like the headset, uh, the the VR headset that like I think. Earlier on, Peach gets hit with, or a statue of Peach gets hit with one of the rabbits and turns into, uh, turns into Princess Rabbit or Rabbit Peach. Oh, okay. And it's, and all the other rabbits laugh at him, because of course they do. Here we go. Now, cold hands, warm heart, that is, that is weird. A lot of, some of the writing in this is actually kind of weird. Like, there's, there's a part where it was like, uh, it was like, Go here to uncover the conventional something space. And I was like, okay, that is a horrible name. Uh, so there are little collectibles around the world like this. Um, I got five power orbs, which build into the skill tree that we're going to look at maybe after a battle or two when I can I can level myself up a little bit. Uh, and so essentially the skills in this uh, kind of play off some of the smaller mechanics that we're going to see. As I said, we'll take a look at it. But 
this here is kind of an indicator for like you're about to get into a fight. So uh, let's go take a look. Oh, I guess there's just no intro at all. Okay. It's just going to straight throw a fight at us. This kind of lets you get an overview of the world to kind of see, right, area of movement, the different abilities they have. Uh, it's good enough to actually let you go into your battle HQ and swap out, like, your team and look at your skill tree and stuff. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and pick probably Rabid Peach. And I'm going to go with Luigi this time. Because Lu Luigi's kind of a... Well, actually, you know what? That, that's what I'm going to talk about now. This is, this is bizarre. It is straight up classes. So, like, Peach is your kind of support character that does, like, shields and stuff like that and can kind of be a, a little bit of a tank. Luigi's just straight up a sniper. Like, he's just straight up, like... Doesn't he have the vacuum from Luigi's Mansion? He has the vacuum from Luigi's Mansion, but that's somehow a sniper rifle that he can use to just glack people from, like, miles away. And it's kind of awesome. Um, let me see where we're going to go first. Well, Mario's sort of an all-rounder. He can kind of do Overwatch and stuff like that. Um, but I'm going to go with Peach first, I get. Actually, no. No, no, no. Let's go with Luigi. Yeah. Stick it here. Then, like, he can just straight up take shots from, like, a super, super long distance. Um... But instead, I'm going to shoot at this guy here. And so, like, any any cover that has, like, little bricks on it is pretty much destructible. Um, you can throw on one or two uh, one or two hits onto it before it eventually breaks, and then coins fall out. And those coins can be used to, like, pretty much buy weapons and stuff like that in the game. Uh, so I'm going to... What are you doing there? Why is that turned yellow? So this is what I'm going to show you. This is one of my favorite things in this game is the movement is awesome. Uh, one of the big things is what's called a team jump. So you can essentially do this. To try and get to different points around the map. And I kind of, I'm in like super... I love it. I love every I bit like of it. The, the rabbit just leans on the wall. Yep. Oh yeah. Rabbit Peach is actually... I don't like to like go, oh, this is, you know, it's so funny because it's very Ubisoft humor. It's very on its face, um, very like exuberant. But at the same time, I actually really, really, really like the sense of humor that this game goes for. Because uh, it's very like, it's it's super innocent, but in a way that totally like fits with the, uh, with, with the Mario kind of themes to it. So let me see. So yeah, like, I don't think I've ever played a proper Rabbids game, but I still remember, like, those adverts where it's just, like, here's how a rabbit does this, and it's, like, they pull something out and it just starts screaming. Yeah, that's, I like... Was, like, I was, like, those are really simple, but they were really funny at the time. Yeah, and, and this game kind of does that. It kind of goes for the, like... Oh, here's Overwatch. Uh, oh, Jesus. Pure inkdom. Uh, but, like, the, the, the sense of style of, like, the rabbits just eventually devolve into screaming... That is kind of a thing, but it's not as much here. And I kind of like that a lot because they do a lot smarter ideas with the... Or not smarter, but they do more clever ideas with the uh, with the different kind of archetypes of, like, Rabid Peach is a very, like... I guess she's selfie queen would be the way I would uh, would describe it. Like, just tries to take selfies with everything. And Luigi's just this clo klutz. Uh, or, like, Rabid Luigi's just this klutz. And constantly tries to mimic regular Luigi. And regular Luigi's this bit of a joke for a lot of people where they're like... Oh, you're the you're the brother. You're Louis, right? And it's just like no, no, <laughs> clearly not. One thing I'm I'm still trying to get my head around: why are like they're bad rabbits, rabbits, and then you have got these good rabbits that are on your side? They don't really explain that like at all. Um, but it is kind of a thing of like uh, Bowser Jr. takes takes the the rabbit that has the headset that confuse things and is going to try and use it to like wreak havoc on the Mushroom Kingdom. So I guess there's that. Uh, but that's literally the only kind of justification outside of these rabbits just want to cause ab absolute chaos. Okay. Yeah, you do come across a few, like, fused rabbits. So, like, there's one that is uh, fused with Donkey Kong, and he's just a giant gorilla rabbit. Which doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but it's still pretty funny, because, like, the, the whole boss fight is centered around taking away his bananas. And you're like, that's kind of awesome. <laughs> like, it's kind of really, really good. And it's a fun boss fight. So I pretty much can't hit any of those guys. I guess I'll just end the turn. These dudes, um, they're hoppers. They can essentially do super jumps off of one another. Uh, like you might see. Yeah, look. Like you go. were doing. You can do like a super long jump uh, compared to the other ones. 
But that's fine. Oh, that's not fine, because now Mario's stuck in honey. Right. I guess I'm just going to use this. Uh, wait, does that mean that Mario can't move? Yeah, pretty much. The, the rabbits, for some reason, use honey to, like, freeze things and glue things together or, so, or something. You see a, a bunch of times throughout the world in the game, so I guess... It, or, I mean, I, it, it is one of the status effects that you can apply to uh, apply to each other. Okay. Because I saw you oil the guy earlier or something. Yeah, I inked him, which I think means he just pretty much can't see. It's like mimicking the one from uh, the, the that status effect from Mario Kart. What are you doing now? So you, uh, you clicked on the one guy. Yeah, so the, I'll show you there now. So this is like one of the setups you can kind of do where you can go... Uh, slide tackle. Or no way. Uh, it's, it's kind of a cheap dig, but it works because then I can go right. Couple that with this, which is a, a little excavator that pretty much tries to stalk um, enemies through the map. You can set it like on a path and it'll take a few turns to get somewhere. Uh, so I'm just going to throw Overwatch on Mario. And then, because he can't move, I guess I'll shoot the... I guess I'll shoot this guy. Okay, well that pretty much took him out. Oh no, didn't see my mistake. You honeyed him. I honeyed all over him. Can you still like use Mario to jump even though he's honeyed? No, that's the thing I can't. Oh, actually no, I'm pretty sure I can. I just didn't bother for whatever reason. Oh, and now he's stuck in honey again. He's pretty much got a flanking shot, but just straight got him. In his own honey. Mm-hmm. This is just, I don't like the innu innuendos this is taking. Right, now, because I caught the uh, that rabbit over here with uh, the thing, now I can just, put, or with the Overwatch from Mario, I can pretty much put, pair this up with Luigi Sniper. So that'll cover, so you, yeah, you've got a guaranteed hit. That's the thing, is there's kind of no dice rolls here. Like, at all. There's no, yeah. like, there's no sense of, like, oh, you get, it's a 74% chance to hit. It's like... No, it is 0% to hit, 50% or 100%. There is no, like, any... There's no in-between at all, which is kind of interesting. Yeah. Um, so I'm just going to get rid of him. And then what I might do if Mario's still stuck in honey, unfortunately. So I'm going to have to get him to just straight up shoot with this dude. Hopefully he'll honey him. He will. Uh, some of the other status effects you get are pretty cool as well. Like, you can get a... You can get a status that just pretty much bounces them. Like, that just throws the rabbits into the air and fly, flies them around the map. You can set them on fire, uh, setting them on fire, pre and same to yourself, obviously. If you get set on fire, you pretty much just run out with cover and run around in circles because your ass is on fire. Like, um, like someone panicking, sort of. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, and then I'm going to slide tackle him, and then that'll be the fight. And that's another thing, is like, at the end of every round, it is like, you took a maximum of, you know, five turns out of five turns, so you get the, the gold star, and all your squad mates are still alive, so you get the gold star for that, and it's like, that all adds up at the end of a chapter. Uh, I guess I'm going to another boss fight. There's a guy up there with earmuffs, I haven't seen him before. I really hope he's not a sniper type rabbit. I like the little easy mode icon in the bottom left. Yeah, the, so the easy mode actually allows you to... It fully restores your character's health uh, and, like, lets you go... I can't remember how, how if there's any other nuances to it, but it pretty much just lets you go through it with fully recovered characters. Um, I don't know if you're penalized on that stuff. I would kind of hope you are, because otherwise then, like, what's the point of trying to go through and get all the gold trophies, um, which come at the end of every uh, chapter or every little act? Yeah, perhaps it, like, stops you getting those trophies or something. Yeah. And like you're you're heavily incentivized to get those those trophies because it's a very uh wait one second, I'm gonna swap out Luigi for the rabbit Luigi. And then weapon selection, let me see. I shouldn't have enough no, I don't have enough coins yet. So like right, we'll go through the status effects here. So like an example could be like push damage or push chance, so you pretty much just knock them out. You can even knock them off the map, and if you knock them off the map, I'm pretty sure that does extra damage. Uh you can do burn then there's honey as well, uh, stone chance. I actually haven't used stone chance at all, but it pretty much just works the same way as honey, except the person can't attack at all. They can't like do anything. Like freezing. Pretty much. Uh, and then, as far as I know, those are the only status effects. Uh, they're definitely the only ones I've encountered. 
I actually just realized there's a secondary category for Rabid Luigi that I haven't encountered yet. Oh, there we go. Ah, yes. So I guess you can get different kinds of uh, different kinds of little drones. So Killer Luigi's, extinct. yeah, pretty much. So like, I like this one, which is just a Jurassic uh, Master Control Baron Burner. I could actually have four Jurassic. Yeah, I might do that. So right and it just says "boah" on the front. Yep, that's the one. Infamous quote, right? So just accept. Mario is looking worse for wear, so I'll just use heal. It's not much of a heal, but it'll do. And I'm gonna get Mario, or I'm gonna get Rabbit Peach to jump over here. Cause then I can get Mario to hop. And this is something that's exclusive to Mario, as far as I know, where he can just straight up bop them from above. Yeah. And then get into cover. So you can just straight do this. You can do a ball of damage with that. Uh, I also have... So, like, on top of the fact that Mario has a gun, I just I gave him a hammer. Because I was just like, why not? And he just absolutely smash fools with a Donkey Kong hammer, which is kind of awesome. So I guess uh, these enemies aren't actually anything special. They are just the straight-up enemies that I was fighting in the first world. Uh, they're called Ziggies. Which seems like a strange name, but... Eh. Right. excavator to go after this guy and the thing is I'm doing this at a very close range for all of these um, attacks if any of those characters were like a little further away uh, the excavator would just chase after them as far as I know I don't know if it can go through like multiple depths and stuff like that but that's also something that I would totally expect to be the case just get him to straight up flank him and then come down Yeah, and then... Is his weapon a yo-yo or something? Yeah, his thing is a yo-yo. Right. I don't know why they don't really justify or explain anything in terms of, like, why such a thing is such a way, but they use it as a joke in the intro when you get the weapon, so I'm presuming that's why. Fair enough. Oh, that's an Overwatch-style thing, I guess, now that the Ziggies have. Now, right, so, now, so now that Mario is here, might get him just to pop over here, and I'll get him to take a clatter at this poor guy. That's another thing, you, get, you do get, like, damage bonuses from being up high, uh, is another thing I noticed, which I thought was a, a pretty good get, a pretty good, like, advantage kind of thing to have, especially when you're... Especially in these kind of games, I mean, like, you, you, you with Luigi and stuff, you kind of get height advantages, so you can get, like, a, an even bigger damage boost from, from being up high. Uh, but that is, as far as I know, that is pretty much all I have seen of it. Hmm. If I try going across there, he's gonna see that. So I guess I will go ahead and... Here? I am really liking this music. Oh, the music is just fantastic. Oh, there we go. Wow, that actually took a lot of damage. Okay. Hmm. I'll just do that. That's a debuff just to get rid of their the power of their weapons. And just take a pot shot at this dude. There. That's an example of how push works. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. And it when it when it works, it it really works, uh, it, and it and it's kind of awesome. Like it's, it is like we've said before. It is just a boiled down version of XCOM with a lot of with a lot of like its own spins on things like the super jump and all that. And and I think it's really awesome. I, I really enjoy it. Right, he's looking worse for her. I'll need to get him out of there. Um, do that and then maybe here. Yeah, it's not looking as as good. They move, move Mario over here. Oopsie. 
And if I want, I can just do this just to wear away at the cover. Now, then, use the driller on this guy. So that'll take a few turns. That can actually be destroyed as well. Uh, but that's okay. neither here nor there. I haven't really experienced any of them destroying it because I haven't used it for long enough of a distance for it to matter. But at the same time, that's fine. Um, you know what? I think here will do. Oh, that, that's another thing as well. Is I can, uh, with Rabbit Luigi, I can pretty much get him to suck away health of enemies with that kind of uh, that slide tackle. No. And I guess I'll let me turn. Also, just fast forward, which I like doing. And excavator's gonna go ahead. He's almost there. Okay. Can I hit him? Nope. There's a zero percent chance, but I'll take it anyway, just to whittle away his cover. And then Mario can't really get him to go anywhere in particular, so I got to go down here and then maybe out to about here. Nothing really else I can get him to do, so I guess I'll just pass the turn. Nah, that'll do him no favors. That was a waste of his. Oh, never mind. <laughs> oh, he's at one point, <laughs> one hit point. Grand. Well, that's gonna do it for him. Uh, oh, that's disappointing. Let me see. Yeah, screw it. Well, I did not realize that he had Overwatch on, but okay. Oh, that's another thing. Golden shots are like a last chance kind of thing where you can spawn a bunch of uh, coins from a downed enemy. Okay. I want you to use coins to buy weapons. Use coins to buy weapons. Um, as far as I know, I haven't really seen any other uses for them. But at the same time, who knows? It literally could be anything else uh, down the line. The, the the game's still sort of unfolding for me. Um, like I just got I just got the uh, the co-op stuff. Um, there's co-op in the game. I haven't. Had too much of a chance to, to mess with it, as it's mainly local co-op, which I kind of think is a bit disappointing. Um, yeah. I kind of wish this had some kind of online co-op system, but I understand why. Uh, but I've also, I'm not too sure how that would necessarily work, because... Is it just that I have control over one character and you have control over the other? Like, is it just this separated out system? But, uh, well, maybe we'll talk about it in the review. Because it'll take maybe about a week for me to kind of plow through this. I'm, I'm roughly, I think, about halfway through the game, I would think. Uh, and I put maybe five or six hours into it. So it, it's, it's got a good length to it. Um, I can see this being a really good portable game that you kind of pick up and knock a battle out of the way. But yeah. outside of that, I'm not too sure. <laughs> that is That is literally... Rabbit Peach is one joke that still lasts throughout most of the game. Spawny is the name of the uh, the rabbit with the headset. Okay. You see that mega bug regain some of the strength. So the mega bug, as far as I remember, is the big swirling vortex in the sky that will destroy the Mushroom Kingdom if we don't stop it. And the rabbit Luigi fell asleep for a bit there. Mm-hmm. It is constant, like, just little jokes here and there. Like, if you're just watching this, like, I'm pretty sure this is just a rolling thing that goes by every few seconds and it's always got a rabbit or two on it. I think there's a little passage if you go back there. 
Yeah, like this. Toy. There we go. Oh, wait, was there? Oh. Yeah, go back down the hill. Thank you. That's some straight, like, that is, like, some straight up, like, treasure or toad treasure tracker level stuff of just using this, like, kind of tilt shift, like, XCOM map style photography. That sort of thing is, like, the game is very much built to be, like, you're going to replay chapters and play and try and get, like, the little secret things that you needed a special ability that you got earlier on, like, uh, I just got the ability to push things around and there's plenty of places in the first two worlds that are built for going back and pushing around some blocks to unlock more things. No idea what those things are, but anyway. They have rabbit faces on, I think. Yeah, pretty much do. Um, the other thing that uh, I kind of noticed was like, a lot of the game is filled with these kind of things. Like, I personally, I think it's really boring. I think, like, the moment-to-moment -moment stuff of going from battle A to battle B is just really dull. But yeah. I also see I also see why people, or why this was done this way, because it's like, how else would they really do it? Like, uh, oop. Like, this is, like, kind of the thing in it, is you're just solving these, like, tiny puzzles. And then I unlock five power orbs, which is actually useful because, like, the first two sections of the world, you were just coming across, like, 3D models and concept art. And that's what a lot of the game's little treasure things are filled with. And that's kind of annoying because it's like, I, as somebody who likes game-ass games like this, I don't particularly enjoy the game just going, here's concept art for solving a puzzle. It's like, eh, I kind of wish that these were maybe skill points instead or something yeah. a lot more useful down the line. Anyway. Oh, I have enough to buy a weapon. Oh, wrong button. No. So we're gonna go into skill tree. Oh, I'm gonna go skill tree first. So the other thing I like about this is for all the skill trees there are, it is actually a different pool of skill points per character. So you don't really have to make a whole lot of very difficult choices. Oh, so if you, if you find five skill points, does that go to every single character or what? I think so. I'm pretty sure it does, uh, which I think is a really good idea because it is a lot of like, Learning these core abilities unlocks this tree over here, and that's kind of important when it's... I'm sure it's, like, a lot more important down down the line, but, like, for now, it's just kind of, like, you're learning the ability to weaken weapons that are near Rabbit Luigi, and one where it's, like, a bazooka that just affects the area that it attacks, which I'm going to get now. Dies. Cute little horrifying rabbit. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to increase, let's see, can I increase the effect ability? Yep, let's increase that. And then with Mario, I'm going to, what do you think, increases damage dealt, stomp jump, nope. Let's go ahead and give him some kind of ability in here, which is going to be, well, no. So like, that's the other thing is their techniques are sort of their sub abilities, so. His, abil his ones are Empower and Hero Sight. And Hero Sight is essentially your Overwatch from XCOM. And Empower is like your damage boost that you can give to uh, to any heroes within range. So I'm going to see if I can increase the Hero Sight damage. Uh, or maybe... Actually, no, we'll do that. Or we'll actually build into that eventually. Which allows me to shoot two people in one turn. Which will be very useful down the line. And then for uh, Luigi, we're going to give him... The ability to feel emotion. No, that's not the one. Uh, increases. You can give him the ability to be relevant in this franchise. Oh, come on. Mm. Come on, Luigi had his own last... It wasn't last year the year of the Luigi, or was that two years ago? No, that was a while ago, I want to say. Oh, man. That's no good. And the most he got was like a re a reskinned version of the whatever Mario game had just come out on the Wii U. So it was like Luigi and then Toads. Because they couldn't even be asked to make up a gang of followers for him. That's so sad. So they just gave him a bunch of toads. That makes me depressed as shit. Okay. Um, it's a shame because Luigi's Mansion is good. Yeah, and I hear a lot of people like Luigi's Mansion. Um, right, yeah, so I, I played a bit of it on GameCube and I've been playing the second one on my 3DS. It's pretty fun. Bounce damage, bounce chance. Let's go with this thing. This thing actually looks like a lot of fun to hit somebody with. TKO. I just happy imagine the idea of Mario beating the shit out of rabbits with a hammer. With a hammer of all things. I wonder will I ever get to actually fight something that's not rabbits. I've, I'm 
presuming not, because they would be like, that's too violent of an action to take against, or Nintendo would be. Shigeru Miyamoto would be like, listen. listen well, I mean, the thingy, he literally walked in with what the other, with like the rabid cannon. You listen to me, you fuckers. I let you give you him a gun. Missed the red coin back there. I let you give that son of a bitch a coin. Another coin, a gun. God damn it, you're throwing me off. What do you think the pitch for this was like to Miyamoto? Like, you just you sit him down and you're like, hey. I, don't know. I get the feeling they were probably working on a turn based game in some form. Yeah. And then maybe they got the offer to do something with Mario. Or who so knows? Just got changed into that. It could have been just a Rabbids, like, strict Rabbids one, and then Eve Gitmo just came in. It's like, what the fuck are you doing? Why would we ever, ever make just something just about Rabbids? You gotta get Mario in that. That's how it'll sell. Yeah. Like, that's, that's literally how I feel like this partnership came together. It's just like, hey, let's just put Mario with Rabbids and see what happens. And then they gave it to a bunch of guys who really like XCOM. And then what we've got is apparently a very capable game. Did you see that the... Uh... The XCOM Twitter account wished Mario and Rabbids the best of luck. No. And then, and then they tweeted back with the uh, the, the desktop application where you make like propaganda posters, and it was yeah. of a, it was of a pig soldier, and then next to it was Rabbit Peach taking a selfie. <laughs> it was really, I thought it was pretty good. Oh, little disco ball and wait, frozen Rabbids. <laughs> and that's just a 3D model. Lovely, love it. Top ten. Top 10 3D models in Rabbids. Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle. I think Kingdom Battle is a shit name, but it's also the only name that I would have given this. Yeah. I think, like, calling it Kingdom Battle makes it sound like a shitty mobile game, and Kingdom it's not. Kingdom Shootout. Yeah. King, like, the, it might as well they wouldn't, get, they wouldn't allow that name. Yeah, like, Kingdom Kingdom Battle Berserk Storm. Uh, what else? Infinity Blade. Kingdom Rush. Uh, Battles. Royale. Now. That would have been the name for it. Let's go back this way and see if we, there was any, any secrets I missed. Oh, there was. There's totally some secrets I missed. I really can't, though. You've seen those drums and rabbit heads. I'm really just looking at those and going like, what, what are they? What the fuck? Is, what are they doing? They're, they're emoji balls now. Here we go. To celebrate the emoji movie. Yep, that's the one. The hot new relevant film that everyone is looking forward to. Wait, is, have I been here? I have been here. Yes. This is the battle I came from. Okay. This is not the first battle you did, I think. Huh. Oh, yeah. Oh, crap. We're totally yeah, here. Yeah, look, there's Toadette. We're totally here. Wait. Wait, so. That seems like something I'm not supposed to solve. Uh, more emoji balls. It really, I really just can't stop thinking about those. What are they there? What purpose do they serve? I came that way. Did no way. There? there was something I did miss, and I can't remember which direction I was. Oh, I ran this way to go do a secret level. I think there was like a little warp level. It was not here. It yeah, was... there was like a little blue. Where was it? I literally just came from this area. You think I'd have better memory? Yeah, I know what you're thinking about. I remember seeing it. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. It's there it the is. blue little tubes are then. Those are essentially the warp zones. Get extra coins, yeah. Oh, okay. Hmm. Stupid. Okay. They're literally the most harmless, like not even trying to bother yeah. your mind type thing. But it, you know what? It, you know what it's like. It's like the um, I like that the level design of them in that kind of grid se section are like the ones from Mario or Super Mario 3D Land, um, just without the 3D. <laughs> and we're done. Yeah, it reminds me of like the weird 3D rooms you get in Mario World in 3D. Hmm. Yes. No. Oh. Just without the weird 3D trickery. I am presuming I go talk to Peach. Really? Okay. We are really good at marbles, Luke. Yeah. That's the game. It's my, my greatest skill in life. But wait, what did we necessarily knock? Oh, it would have been over here. We knocked something down, I think. No, I came that way. Oh, no, but I yeah, didn't. If the thing you went down there, wouldn't you go back down that way? Yeah, I guess so. If 
fair enough. Okay. Oh, I yeah. guess I came in halfway through an animation. <laughs> the game's filled with like little <laughs> galleries like that that are like they're neat to look at, but who gives a who cares? Who cares? R rabbits doing weird things. Yeah, undergarment gulch. But I really like the level design huh. here. Just giant underwear floating in the wind. <laughs> the bullet bill and the underpants. <laughs> Banzai Bill. Huh. Never realized he was called Banzai Bill. Okay. Oh, so I guess it's going to introduce us to the other kind. Uh, so there's these big rabbits with ice blocks. Mm -hmm. Wow, this looks like a, a long ass fight. It is not going to necessarily be long. It is that I have to get past those guys. And the game will probably spawn oh, more so You them. just have to get to that yellow area. Pretty much. So since Rabid Peach is the one that can take... That can like soak up physical damage. We get her to do this. And then out of the kindness of her own heart. I'm going to get her to throw me... Well, uh, that puts me within distance. Okay, so I'm gonna need to put at least one of these things down. Yeah, screw it. This is gonna be a dirty fight. Yeah. Okay. I don't know what it is, but I just really like the idea of Peach just leaning on half cover. Yep, it's pretty good. Oh, do that. So there's a damage boost, and then I'm going to get... Wait, can I, will that work on... Yep. At least drain, drain the damage that they can do with those weapons. And then... I guess... See, if I attack, the problem if, with if I attack is that it'll let them... I'm going to be able to come up and hit one of them anyway. And then he's not going to be able to hit anyone. So I'm not going to hit... I'm not going to shoot anyone this game, or this round. Actually, no. That's not true. I should. Uh, are they... Are, wait, so are they not going to attack you unless you attack them or something? They'll attack me when I attack them. Or they'll do... You know, you remember the... Uh, the mutons? The, like, the melee-focused mutons from XCOM 1? That yeah. when you would hit them, they would chase after you? It's that. Okay. Oof. It's fine. Uh-oh. I didn't realize that would damage me too. Oh, well that just has both of them going after poor Rabbit Peach. <laughs> oh, crap. Okay. How far am I from the... Is that like a reinforcement indicator that they're coming? That, yeah, that just pretty much means that they're, they're going to be spawning rabbits soon. So I think I pretty much have to make a beeline. So let's go here. But then, like, I can just distract them by doing this. Then I'm going to get him to throw him over here. Set up on Overwatch. Mm, super effects. So if a crit is landed, he he will essentially rebuff any elemental effects thrown on him. I'm gonna have to just do this. Just be like, nope, go away. <laughs> so at least none of them will be able to get to me. Those will be a problem though. That is why. I can't let Rabbit Peach die. She seems like the best one. She's one of the better ones, for sure. I should also mention there's permit and oh, others. Uh, let's see now. That would be pretty amazing if there was permit <laughs> in this game. Oh no, Mario's dead. You have to play the rest of the game without him. Mario's just fucking like face down in dirt. Right. Maybe some wild rabbits are just eating his corpse. Yeah. Okay. 
that's just gonna do it to piss the thing off. Grab it, Luigi. Your problem is that you're moving in too so far ahead that Peach is inevitably gonna be four behind. I, oh, she's, she, but sure, it doesn't matter. All it has to be reached is one character to the end. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's interesting, though. My problem is that when I throw that person up here, whoever they might be, they're kind of done. They're gonna trigger. Well, it's not that. It's that. It's it's just that I can't throw two people up there. I can only throw oh, okay. one. Oh, that's the uh, rabbit throwing up Overwatch. Well, I think I might have put myself in a bit of a shit position. Hmm. Have you got no way you can get Luigi no, up there? Or? No, not without going this way. So, this is the other part. Is it just straight up lets you restart the entire fight? Nice. Then you just walk back in, skip, and start right back. Oh, so it's, yeah, and get 50% extra health. It, it's at least a neat thing for kids because this game is like seven, sevens and up. Yeah. So it just makes sense. Right. Um, I'm going to need to set up a bit of a distraction for this thing. I need to get. If I can get rid of this guy, I think I might have a better footing on the game. Put him here. And put Peach here. Then what I do is. I would say I have the other two set shots first, and then you oh. use Luigi to aggro it. Oh, okay. Sweet. Well, that worked out. I'm going to have him just set up a little early. Annoyance. Um, and then... He doesn't need to anymore now, but him... Gonna have pretty much a 100% chance shot, so he'll get two shots. Let's just hope the second one's a crit. It is not. So Mario's gonna take a bit of a hit, but it doesn't matter. Oh, he's imbued with electricity, and that. Uh, doesn't cause any stuns, thank god. Now. So, let me think now. Right, I need to do something that'll get rid of him really quick. Oh, never mind. Bye bye. Then have him run over this way. Like a ping pinball. God. Why did I can't I talk? Nice. Boom. Making fun of the way I talk, boy. Yes, absolutely. Hurtful. Right. Um, let's just do that. And then shoot him. See, even if he does get close to me, it's not like he's going to be able to do much to her. Now. Oh, 
like that has a speed up option. Yeah. It's pretty good. It's it's really handy. Oh wow. Yeah, she's Pis totally Pelted me. Peach. <laughs> Thankfully, I can just do this. Then... Oh, this is perfect. What do you mean, no? Okay. I guess I can't. Oh, I can't do Oh, you see if you can then jump back onto the other one. Slide tackle. Knock his shield off. And then land exactly jump. where you were. No, topple him and then do that. And now I can just, now I just shoot him. In this Super Mario game, I just shoot him. <laughs> Uh, it's too, that's too fun. I don't know why. This just this has me so excited when I get to absolutely just trounce fools like that. Well, no one else is around to get healed, but who cares? Yeah, then. Well, I get rid of him first. That'll likely kill him. Um, oh, well, that was a mistake. Now he's just out in open cover. Yeah, he's Luigi. You can take her. No one cares about him. Exactly. And there's just like new rabbits every turn. Yep. Because we want you to finish the map really quick. Uh, so it's sense. incentivizing you to try and get things done as quickly as possible. But now that I have that little opening force done, I can just spin through the rest of this, hopefully. Target's out of range, but I'll just get rid of him. Set, set it to start getting rid of him. I'm actually curious to see how it does that. I really was going to go through that tube on the left. Well, here's hoping, Luke, for my sake. Oh, he's just going to get to the bottom of the wall and just give up and explode. Don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Set him. Uh, does that do any? Okay, that doesn't. Please do a bounce. Oh! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> That's so enjoyable. So satisfying. I think again, going out of bounds does additional damage. I think so, yeah. As well as forcing them out of cover. That dance they do to go in Overwatch is way funnier when you're playing it in fast <laughs> motion. But he gets shot now. Oh, never mind, he won't. Oh, weird. Okay. Um. Well, he's, he can't go anywhere now, so actually, you know what? I'll either do that or I'll do Pipe Dream. Pipe Dream would be really useful against those guys. Is it, is it's it called Pipe Dream. Yeah. Actually, you know what? I might be able to just do this, just to knock his shield off. And then dive into cover. Yeah, here's fine. Can you hit him with a hammer from there? Uh, I don't think so. No. I should have. Actually, I should have hit him with the hammer now that you say it. That's fine. This is why you need my tactical genius. Exactly. I need you providing me tactical information at all times. That's fine. The second. Even though I couldn't beat XCOM 2 on normal difficulty. Absolute scrub lord. Right. Now. <laughs> uh, actually, you know what? This will do, do me good. 40% damage rebuff. And. Then he has literally no choice but to shoot. Um, I mean, he can't shoot anyone else, but yeah, screw it. Nothing, nothing. It won't hurt to shoot. Well, no, there's no point in him shooting at all. Screech that Robert Peach made then when she got slid. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, you scumbag. He's honeying you, Luigi. Ah, but Luigi's looking worse for wear. This is turn six. Uh, I have probably ran out of turns to be able to get a gold, but I don't care. This one does seem particularly difficult. Yeah, this is actually a really, really difficult one, especially seeing how many times he's after freezing me. At the same time, though, I did that to myself. This is your fault. Yeah, it's my fault I won't get a gold, but at the same time, I'll just go back and... You should be ashamed of yourself. How Alan. about... Fuck off. No. How about... No. How about yes? No. How about... Ah, yes. Yes, queen. No, fuck off. <laughs> Absolutely not. I guess there is no other way up. I kind of shot myself in the foot by doing that. Okay. He's just not going anywhere. And he's just not going anywhere. Well. No point in restarting now. I do like that it's very clean cut about aiming percentages. I like that, but I also don't because then this stuff happens. Yeah. But at the same time, this shows that it's, it is a difficult game. It is not... Some is I was gonna say it's not child's play, haha. <laughs> it's a video game about m m m m Mario. No. Let me bounce him off Luigi. So is that kind of like the equivalent of dashing? Then you can bounce um, another teammate. To essentially, go but you but essentially, but you can also like, you can also damage. You can still shoot in that turn. It's just disappointing. And she's dead. Okay. Can you revive them then in the field? Or? I, I can revive them, but uh, it's going to be a pain. She's yes. right out in the open. Well, it's that, but it's also... Like, you can unlock an ability that revives them if you super jump off them. But there's no point in me even trying that right now. Not when all these Ziggies have bloody Overwatch turned on. Now, uh, I guess I'll move you here, and then, yeah. What do you mean line of sight is blocked? It's a bazooka. Who cares about line of sight? Ah, oh, that'll work. <laughs> that didn't even do any real damage to the cover. That's disappointing. Yeah, I'd imagine that would at least like destroy the cover. So I'm gonna have to get him to move along this side with him. At least honey him. There we go. Mario time. Mario time. That's just a weird. I don't like that phrase. It's Mario time, Luke. Okay, so I guess these guys are different from regular Ziggy. Oh no, they are just Ziggies, never mind. Right, so we're gonna get him to go here. Don't get shot, don't get shot. Okay, you're alright. We are alright. Oh, never mind, he's shot. Okay. So is Overwatch just a guaranteed hit every time? Pretty much. Hmm. Not a fun time. Okay. So there's no point in me. The only thing I can really do is hero sight. And then enemy. I'll just shoot this just to blow his cover up. Oh, that actually works out. Oh, what's happened to that then? Just straight up blows it up into a destructible kind of cover. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's interesting. So some blocks are kind of hidden to, to have those underneath. There can be ones that like set enemies on fire. There can be ones that stick them in place. Ones that bounce them around. All kinds of ones. No, so let's be careful here. If anything, I might go... Well, here's good. Hmm. I feel like I might 
not sure you're here, it's only... Mario is almost dead. Uh, oh, wait, what am I doing? I should have done this. Oh, that sucks. Okay. That really sucks. Okay, okay. Uh, I forgot that all I have to do is just get to that one point. I don't have to kill these guys. But this is probably where they'll kill me, Luke. Kill Mario. Is that an instant game over then if Mario goes down? No. I don't think so anyway. I would hope not. But who knows? I would say try and take out the one behind you first. Well, if I manage... The other two just don't seem to want to move. Well, if I manage to get to that block over there to the left, he won't be able to shoot me at all. But I figure like these, yeah, these guys are going to move to flank me now. He's gonna super jump his friend behind me now. Or they're long enough to move. I'm presuming they they were waiting for this moment. Oh no, he didn't super jump me. They're just gonna strain the cover. And uh, now it's Overwatch. Then this guy's gonna come kill me. Yeah, that seems kind of not good that they can shoot you and then activate Overwatch. Well, I can do that as well. Yeah, I don't know. It just seems a bit. I don't know. That doesn't seem like a. That's helpful. Okay. So he's gonna shoot me. That's 32. I'm done. All I have to do now is wait. Can I... What are you talking about? If I look from the other side, I can see him. Yeah, that. that what? That's really dumb. Just purely because of the sign side that he's looking off. It's really dumb. Let's look. What can I do? Yeah. That's ex- No, that's not the phrase, that, that's not the appropriate phrase used here, and it's done. I'm dead. Fuck. <sighs> yep, it's a difficult one. Yeah, I want to see him. <laughs> Rabbit Peach just walks off. <laughs> Let's go on this one more time. Was that, was that a mistake? Yeah, that was a mistake. We restart. I'm going to bring Luigi this time. Yeah. So I might be good. Luigi wouldn't do me like that. No. Yeah. Kinda wish I could skip these pan shots, but hey look, I get why yeah. they're here. You know what time it is, Luke? It's uh, rabid peach time. Mario time! What is Mario time? Uh, you don't want to know. Are you sure? Uh, I'm, I'm sure. Is it something perverse? As a person who's experienced Mario time, it is not pleasant. Tell me more about the Mario time. No. Does it involve chains? You, you, you can't handle the Mario time. You don't Let's know just that. Just put it that way. I do like that his his version of Overwatch is just called Steely Stare. <laughs> it's probably a reference to the Mario Kart stuff. Probably. Probably, Luke. Lu Luigi Death Stare from Mario Kart. Oh, the memes. I mean, he does dab in this. Yeah, I've heard that. Uh, I've seen a video of it. Isn't it when he sets off on those little drones? Uh, I don't know. I believe it's when he sets off on his drones. He like as he jumps off it, he hits the ground and dabs. Well, we're gonna take a look. Just a second. And all I, all I can think Here we is, go. Ubisoft Top should left. never be allowed to- Show me that dab! What? Oh, Overwatch first. Overwatch. Oh! 
Oh, that's an over. That's a. Oh, he didn't dab. No dab. He, he does it after you set off one of the drones. No dab confirmed, oh, Luke. Oh, Bad form. Oh. All I can say is if he does dab, then Ubisoft should never be allowed to develop a Mario game ever again. Oh, if he hits Luigi, Luigi's a dead bitch. Luigi's dead. It's a good start. Let's, uh, let's restart that. Let's rework that. I'm not going into a fight with this much damage done. Hmm. Ew. No. What if you have a... Like the, Mario and Luigi take their shots first and then have Peach shoot? Wouldn't the aggro be on Peach? Well, the thing is, Peach can't use her drone as, at the same time. Hmm. But maybe if you put all your firepower on him first, you take him down quicker and then... The thing is, her excavator does more damage than anything else, so maybe I should just use the excavator on, on the rabbit. Or on that guy. Okay, so... He goes here. And Luigi goes here. Then he sends this thing over this way, right? Yeah, to watch. He does it after he set the drone, I think. And then trigger Overwatch. Yeah. Then you trigger the Overwatch. Then you. Then you do that. Oh shit! He's stuck. Ah, there you go. I honeyed him. I honeyed all over him. Yeah. So he'll move forward a little bit. But. He'll finish him off. Oh, never mind. He didn't finish him off at all. That's fine. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use, well, Peach, Peach and, yeah, use Mario to get over here. Then you will seem to jump here, Peach can jump off them, jump here. And then... might be able to finish him off it's a gamble actually Luigi can I inked him golden shot then yeah that sound this actually seems right seems about the best course of action I could take so Mario will shoot him She'll jump over. Well, yeah, she probably sh I probably should get her to jump over there. Then you're gonna leave Mario by himself in that little corner, though. Yeah, but he can like all I have to do with him is keep Luigi turned around because if Luigi lands a shot on him, he's pretty much got or he'll turn right around. If I take a look at the tacticam, he shouldn't be able to get. Yeah, he'll he'll be able to hit me once, but I'm pretty sure that if he does hit me, it doesn't matter. Because he'll be able to take it. It's a bit of damage taken, but it's fine. 180 damage, like. One hit. Isn't that crazy? It's fine, though. Ink them. What does ink do? Pretty sure it just makes them blind to any, or they can't do ah. any attacks, as far as I know. Okay. Slide tackle him, and then move to here.
It's not easy. It's not an easy game. No, this is... Considering this is maybe the halfway point, this sort of seems way more difficult than I would have expected it to get. Yeah. I think I'm on turn three now. He should miss. I oh, didn't do any attacks at all, which leaves him open to an attack from Luigi. Oh, you could have Ma you could have Mario hammer him. Yeah, I could. Actually, that's not a bad idea. This is my tactical prowess once again coming in. So I'm just going to ignore that, Luke. <laughs> and then instead, have Mario just slide tackle him. Heal Mario with Peach. That's what I'm going to try and see if I can do. Oh, it's just outside of it. No. I could take a shot just to whittle away cover, but it doesn't really seem. It seems pointless. Right. Uh, Alright, just take another shot. Whittle away his cover, his cover's gone. If only Luigi had. Well, actually, can I super super stomp people? Nope. Yeah, screw it. Probably should have just got one of them to move ahead. Oh, Christ, and a cross. So, slight tackle, then jump. Oh, god damn it! Is that a common thing? Like once or twice. It's, a, it's annoying, but it's also me just rushing ahead. Does this game have touchscreen support? No, no touchscreen at all. Hmm. Seems like it would have been a good one for it. it doesn't really seem. It seems pointless though. Like touchscreen. Oh, yeah. The touchscreen no, no, is no, too just... small. I think. Personally, I don't know. Now, do I do that? Or... Oh, I like that the name of the little car is just Killer Instinct. Or Killer Extinct, sorry. And there's all Jurassic Park references in the description. Yep. Okay, so he's the last one. If I miss this shot, this is a big mess up on my part. And ah, he's dead. Now you, get, now you gotta get past the two guys you just stood in one spot and repeatedly went into hero side the entire fucking last round. Yep. That wasn't at all annoying or broken. Or not broken, but just it felt like they were going into it every round when there is a recharge on their turns. It just doesn't feel like it. Um, yeah. okay. I don't know, I think probably each one that you shouldn't really be able to shoot and go into Overwatch. That seems a bit much, I guess. That'll be a neat distraction for them. Oh, why does Luigi have to be here? Actually, yeah, nobody, re nobody really wants Luigi to be there. I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> yeah, you did. You just don't realize how much you hate Luigi yet. That's not true. I like Luigi a lot. He's the working man's uh, brother. The working man's Mario. Yeah, exactly. But oh, I didn't do that. So he dabs after you activate those drones. Okay. This is the only course of action I pretty much have, I think. Oh, come on! 40 health! Oh, that sucks. It's 
too late, rabbit man. Nah, it's zero percent chance from where he is anyway. He'll finish him. These are at least handy little things. Yeah, they're making good distractions at least from these Overwatch spamming enemies. Mm. Not really. I'd say just go see Lisa again, see if one of them tries to move. They won't. It's more no, I no. should I should move more than anything else. Zero percent chance, zero percent chance, zero percent chance. You got no chance. Please don't make wrestling That's references. What you got no chance in hell. You're a bad human. A bad human. You love it, Riv. You love it, really. I really don't. That's what I really look. I really don't. Oh, oh, are you for real? They're shooting you out the air. Why didn't he shoot with Luigi? Guess Luigi wouldn't have been in his line of sight, but still. That feels a tad cheap. Just a tad. Just a tad. He moves. Well, he's gonna shoot that thing, but it doesn't matter. That thing will kill him. Oh, please, absolutely yes. Too brute. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. No, oh, that's what, that's what that's that's it. That's business. <laughs> right. Uh, let's get Luigi up there. Oh, how the tides have turned. My problem is then I gotta get Rabbit Peach up for the other way. We've only got to get one there, haven't you? So yeah. I like these animations actually factor into like being on the wall as well. Yeah. It's a neat little touch. Can you can Peach jump up? Actually no, because this will be far. I was going to say I Peach jump up now. Mario. But, uh, actually no, she can. Oh, she can. What the hell? That sucks. Uh, well, I'm just going to get her to go here. No, she can shoot that guy. No, we'll get through. Oh, wait. Ah, uh, it doesn't work. That sucks. Hmm, not, yeah, surely that should revive Mario. Ah, uh, sorry. Um, Is that going to target? Oh. The other one won't target anyone, because it's pretty much gone. Now Luigi needs to get over there, so he's going to go through the rabbit. Come out here. Yourself. I'm gonna need to start making a move. I do like that. Like at some point, the game's just like, just, just move ahead. There's no, there's no more actions you can take. Wow. Okay. There goes one of my drones, but that's fine. Yeah, screw it. That'll pop his shield. And steal his there. Hopefully it'll be a crit. God, I hope it's a crit. Well, that one's gonna be a crit, but... Never mind. Just a kill shot. Oh. 
your bullets to do nothing. Oh, you know, I'll be like one space away from being able to. Never mind. Oh god. No. God, that was a pain. Yeah, that seemed really difficult. It wants you to do that in seven turns. Are you for real? God. Undergarment Gulch. <laughs> That's a great trophy. That's a really good trophy. That's a really good trophy. Let's see where this goes. <coughs> bring us to brings us to another fight so soon. We'll just skip it. No. Let's go through this. See what this br presents us with. I'm pretty sure that just follows you directly into a wall. Yep. Probably. The positioning of it. So you're telling me this is just the hallucinations of a poor Italian plumber man? It's just easier somewhere tripping off mushrooms. Just being smashed into walls. Oh no! Oh crap! I went the wrong way. Uh... <sighs> so do you just have to do that again or? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, no, turn the camera around to the right. Let's just see if they're going straight into a wall or not. I can't turn the camera anywhere when I'm, when I'm in that position. Okay. Oh, why did I do that? This is not going well for you, is it, Owen? I can do it, I can do it, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Oh, you Press slag! Ah, oh, you silly... <laughs> well, Luke, I think that's gonna... Well, let's see where this goes first. <laughs> oh, God. Uh-oh. Of course, Luigi just runs away. Absolutely. Not even your dad? Oh, speak of the devil. A whole puzzle for me to solve! Let's go through it. Let's see what this one covers. Well, that did nothing. Okay. Just more of these fucking stupid ball things. What, oh. what are they? I don't know, Luke. I don't know what they are. They could be anything. Luke. Oh. Oh, I think I know what I need to do. Yeah, yeah. Push it into the, the water, yeah? No, I know. Oh, look at that. See how boring that was, Luke? Yeah, See how fun and like, exciting that was? Just... It doesn't even feel like they're trying. They're just trying to find reasons to waste your time more than actually... Yeah, like, it's just, a, it's just an excuse for you to go, right, there's obviously something I need to do here, and then you do it, and you're like, this was a waste of all of my spare time. What do you mean I can't push it in? I gotta go from the other side. You can't don't laugh at in. don't laugh at that. <laughs> Fucking child. Right, Luke, I I'm not gonna bother entering this fight. I think we've shown everything this game has to offer. For now. Yeah. Um review forthcoming of it. I really like it. Uh it's a really big pain in my fun. ass. But hey, look. That's you know, that's life. It's a big pain in the ass. That's gonna that's gonna do it. We might have like something Yaku like the boss fights in Yakuza Kiwami. Exactly. Which you'll see whenever on, that video on, comes out. Uh, comes out tomorrow, Luke. What are you talking about? I don't know. I thought you wanted to get this out first. I, no, I wanted to record this on Wednesday, and then have it out for Thursday. 
But you said, no, I want to get my Yakuza video done and I can have a Thursday or Friday. Well, Luke, it's Thursday. Tomorrow's Friday. And that's going to do it for the Mario In Rabbids. In my defense, I had to hand, hey. I've had to handbrake all the footage hey. and convert it into a different format. Why? Because it just, it apparently Premiere doesn't support FLV and I didn't change it to MP4 or anything. You scrub lord. Oh my god, Luke. I can't believe you've done this. I can't believe you. I'm Can not... you just end the video? I'm just, hold on one sec. One sec, hold on. What are you doing? Oh, thank god. Thank god I, I, reco I record an MP4 like a smart boy. Fuck you. Luke, that's gonna do it. I love you, Luke. You mean everything to me. And more. Not as much, but and more. Um, L L Luke? Uh, Are you still there? No. That's fair. Luke, take it easy. Oh, actually, one quick thing. We're going to have a Windjammers video uh, coming out hopefully next week. Uh, as well as what? What else? What else? What else do you think? What else do you want to do a video of Luke Absolver? We're going to have an Absolver video next week. That's going to do it for this. This sounds like work you're going to do. This is all the work we're going to do because we're Team BDF. So that's it. Stop. Hit stop recording. <laughs>